Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Wrestling Experience. My name is Rocco. Ladies and gentlemen, a surprise. We are on live here tonight on a Tuesday night as the road to WrestleMania is getting shorter and shorter here on the way. Ladies and gentlemen, Philadelphia is known for our founding forefather, but we're going to be known for WrestleMania this weekend, ladies and gentlemen. And tonight, we're going to have predictions. We're going to have the WWE's predictions. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, oh yes, oh yes, you've landed on this bubble ship, ladies and gentlemen. And again tonight, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to do it again. It's time for predictions. It's time to get in the ring. It's time for us to talk about this WrestleMania 40, this historic WrestleMania 40. We're going to talk about the build, the matches, and everything else in between here tonight on a very special Tuesday night edition of the Wrestling Experience. Because it's time to get in the ring, and it's time for WrestleMania, it's time for the week, and it's time for us to get on the highway to Philadelphia, PA. So tonight, ladies and gentlemen, let freedom ring. Let the, let the church bells ring. It's time for the WrestleMania 40 prediction show. Now with the hottest show in the universe, the wrestling experience... With your host, Joe Cole. Acknowledge me. Coming at you with all the dope shit. Freshest WWE content. And also the AEW. You are now watching the experience. The wrestling experience. Now with your host, Joe Cole. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get in the ring and let's have some fun tonight, ladies and gentlemen. But I'm not here alone, ladies and gentlemen. Who oh, no. knew? No, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, you know something, ladies and gentlemen? Every time I, I work with this with this lovely lady, she always she's always makes me smile, and and she always makes my heart grow fonder because of her her knowledge for wrestling. Her analytics for wrestling, ladies and gentlemen, is absolutely apoplectic. The crowd goes apoplectic when this lady talks, ladies and gentlemen. She is Carolina's darling. She is revered by everyone here at the Hardcore Sports. She's the host of the Queens of the Ring. And ladies and gentlemen, I love her to pieces. She's a friend in need and a friend indeed, and she's part of the Iron Free Movement. Ladies and gentlemen, please only welcome the one and the only, the one and the only, ladies and gentlemen, the Hall of Famer, the rock and roller of the Carolina. Ladies and gentlemen, please only welcome the one and the only, Cherry Lynn Oh my goodness, that was quite an introduction. Hi Earl, how are you doing? I, I am doing, I am doing so well, Cherry, how are you tonight? You know, Cherry, I, I, I love you absolutely to pieces, and I couldn't have picked a better person, a better person to help me let freedom ring and let's get in the ring and let us do this WrestleMania 40. Thank you so much. Um, let me ask you something, Cherry, first before we go any further. Um, what do you make of the build for this WrestleMania? <laughs> Uh, first of all, hi Fred. I see you in West. Hi, how are you guys? Hi Fred. Hi guys. How you doing? Um, so uh, the the build was slow at first, but in the last two to three weeks, it has ramped up. Like I in matches that I like, I had zero interest in yet another repeat main event. For WrestleMania, I had zero interest in 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 in, Co in Cody finishing his story or anything like that. I had zero. I didn't care. And then when they announced this tag match, I didn't care. 
But these last two weeks, especially with The Rock, just absolute he the rock has absolutely drawn me into this this match you know that tag match in particular i am i'm actually i am very interested in this now and of course i mean drew just absolutely destroying everyone on the mic and social media has been incredible to watch um some of the builds have been good uh, the they do styles uh, and and LA Knight has been a pretty good build, um, uh, but some of them have not been very good. Um, and and that just kind of goes with when you have so many matches on on a card, it'll be hard to really to really focus build every single match. But like I said, in the last two or three weeks, I think that it has been it, it it's really ramped up. Um, and, and it's hard to do because you have such a short amount of time between Elimination Chamber and and WrestleMania, you know, to really, really, really build intensely. But certain stories, they have hit it out of the park and some maybe not so much. But I have enjoyed and WWE TV, in my opinion, is better than it's ever been. I I I I like that I like that I like that sorry I I really do I I really I really and truly I'm glad that I talked to you about this because I'll tell you this much sorry uh in the beginning I was a little on the fence with this WrestleMania card because of the build now the build has been kind of lackluster for me um in certain aspects see when I see I grew up on WrestleMania. So when I when I look at WrestleMania, I look at WrestleMania as a strong card. This card is strong. All of the builds have made sense. Everything makes sense. Everything needs to be WrestleMania worthy. And then that is something that I that I was grew up on. And I can't settle for anything less. So when I see something like this, and it was kind of lackluster, and some of the matches have no heat to it. I was like, hmm, what's going to, well, I don't know about this WrestleMania card. I don't know about this. I don't know what we're going to get here. But then, but then, like Terry said, uh, for the last couple of weeks or three weeks now, we've, they've, they've acted up into the up neat level. And this thing with The Rock, this thing with The Rock, this main event with The Rock turning the rock thing upside down, absolutely drew you into the comparable place of it because it, it just was it, he made it for compelling television he did he made it for compelling television and he made you want to watch each and every smackdown each and every raw each and every week because you didn't you didn't know what in the world we we're going to get from this you had no idea what you were going to get. This is why they sold out 13 consecutive television um, tapings. This is why. This is why, because he came into the picture and he turned the WrestleMania main event upside down. Absolutely. <laughs> and he turned it upside down to the umpteenth level. Okay. And so, I... I'm sorry, Terry, go ahead. Uh, I was just going to say that what he did the previous week when he just beat the absolute dog shit out of Cody. So when, you know, throwing the, 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 um, trash can at him and making him bleed and talking to mama. Red, mm. I didn't mm. think he was going to top that, but then this week happened and him and Roman just went full on just beating him and set, you know, they thought that they were going to be slick and have a plan B. Well, you saw what happened. And, and well, the- I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. When the cameras start rolling last night in in um in Brooklyn, ladies and gentlemen, I, I'm gonna tell you what exactly happened because I was there, ladies and gentlemen. I'll tell you this much, ladies and gentlemen. The crowd chanted, "Do it again, do it again." I wasn't there. <laughs> I promise. I wasn't, I wasn't there. Uh, uh, it, the crowd chanted, ladies and gentlemen, do it again. 16,422 asked the, asked the Rock to do it again. The Rock kept whipping 
I'm going to tell you this much. Like the cameras was done. Michael Cole had left the floor. And I'll tell you this much, ladies and gentlemen, when those cameras were done, the world says, I'm not done. Oh, no. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Saturday. It, it felt like Saturday Night Live. And he was going to say that in the camera. The, the rock ripped the, ripped the nasty, nasty high off of Cody, off of Rollins. And he even with the referee who was interfering in it. The Rock had no big, he just didn't care who he was whipping. He didn't care what official. If you came into the ring, you're going to get it. Mm -hmm. And, and that, that was his attitude. That was his old attitude last time. And like I said, ladies and gentlemen, he made it for compelling television. I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, I'm telling you, this main event that's coming up on night number one, well, we're going to discuss it. We're going to discuss it all. We're going to discuss it all because I, I'm even going to, ladies and gentlemen, also, ladies and gentlemen, on this show tonight, I'm going to talk about raw, my raw journey, my raw experience, and everything like that. So we're going to, we're going to talk about that tonight. But but first, first, uh, ladies and gentlemen, let, let's just let's talk about this. Let's just talk about this. Um. All right. We have a we have a total of fourteen matches. Let's go and talk about. Okay. So um, we have Jake Cargill versus Bianca Belair and Naomi versus Damage Control. Well, as I call them, Boring Control. Let's go and that's my name for that group, Boring Control. That's not this my is. Name. <laughs> That's not my name. I, I like them. So I mean, I'm just no, saying. no, no. I, 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 I like them as a fact. It's just that I find them just. I, I don't know. I just don't find them appealing, Cherry. I'm sorry, but I, I just have to give them a label of boring control. Um, but any, anyway, I, I'm, I'm just playing around, folks. I, I'm, I'm kidding. Um, it's my Virgo sense of humor. Um, anyway, um, Jay Cargill is making her debut at WrestleMania, and this is her first match. So let me let me go to you. What did what do you think that this was right for them to put her in this kind of big stage like this to be on the match like this? Well, first off, uh, so Fred was asking uh, top oh, three Fred. matches that, that we're looking forward to seeing at Mania, the the one up above it. Um, oh, the one up above it, sure. Not the old heating up. Um, Drew versus Seth, of course. This tag match, because everything that's going to happen in night two is going to hinge on what happens here. Um, and I'm really looking forward to Bailey versus EO because I really want to see Bailey and Drew both, the two that really carried that company and carried those two shows through an awful time in, in history, get their just rewards, get, get, get everything that, that, that they deserve. Yeah, uh, um, yeah. Go ahead, Trey. I'm sorry. Uh, but finish uh, your thought. Uh, oh, I was just gonna say. So, um, uh, but as far as Jade Cargill goes, um, I say, you know, given that I've seen like her, um, the training that she's been doing, you know, like the videos of her training and dungeon and everything. I say, why not just let, you know, let her go in and prove, I mean, she, she did very well in at the Royal rumble. Um, right. and, um, I mean, if she does, if she does very well, which I think she will, I mean, she's, she's a hell of an athlete. I think if, yes. she does have a charisma. She definitely has a charisma about her. I think that this could be a really a good moment to really make a star. Uh, and without putting her, like, some people are wanting to shove her, like, right into a, a title match. I think that they're doing it right, putting her in a tag match instead. Uh, but, yeah, that's, those are my thoughts on that. Yeah, um, I, yeah, uh, well, first of all, the, the match itself, before I get to Fred's question here, the the match itself, the match itself, I she was thrusted in at the last minute. Because she just signed the SmackDown. So the, the match really doesn't have any chemistry in it. And it really doesn't have too much heat to it either. Um, the only heat that's that's involved in this match is that 
Data Control kept beating up on Bianca. And, and of course, you know, they kept beating her down and everything like that. And they did that to Naomi. And then they inserted John Cargill in here like, like it was a breath of toast. So she was inserted in, in, in here. Um, we're going to discuss, ladies and gentlemen, the, the matches in a minute. But, but to get to Fred's question, um, top three matches, I believe it's going to be the, the tag match. The tag match I might want is very intriguing, very compelling television. We'll have to see what happens with that. Um, like, like Jerry said, I'm looking forward to Bailey, Bailey getting her moment. And, I'm, and I, there's two people, ladies and gentlemen, there's two people on this WrestleMania card that deserve a moment. And I'm going to tell you who they are right now. And, and I'm, nobody's going to change my mind on this. Um, Bailey is one of them, and Drew is one of them. Both of them deserve to have a WrestleMania moment. And the WWE owes them a receipt. So, therefore, thanks, Jumpin. These are the t only two people on this card that I feel deserves to have a WrestleMania moment. Nobody, everybody else had their moment in the sun before, but these two really deserve a moment in WrestleMania lore and in WrestleMania history. And I'm not going to change well, 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 in Yes, in front of fans. Yes, in front of fans. Yes. 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 Yeah, absolutely. Um, so the match itself, the match is going to be I guess the match is going to be like Terry said. I can't wait to see what Cargill does in the match. The only thing I'm concerned with and the only thing I don't want to see happen is she does any botchy watchy or glitchy witchy in the match. I don't want to see her have any botches. I want to see a very clean, clean, crisp match. Um, I'm not saying I don't want to, I'm not looking for a perfect match, but what I'm looking for is just. Not a lot of bosses in the match. I don't want to see that happen with her. I want to see her come in there. Yes, maybe she'll do a little domination in the in the match or whatever. That's fine. You entertain the audience like that. That's fine. The crowd is going to go apoplectic when she does all that jaded and all that stuff. But I'm going to go to Cherry. Cherry, who's going to win the match? I, I think that... I think that uh, Jade, Bianca, and, and Naomi win. And I think that it's going to be Dakota Kai that gets pinned because I can't see why they would pin one of the two tag champions. You know, I, I, that's kind of how I'm seeing it. Right. Um, I don't think that Jade's going to be, you know, going to be too awful. You know, I, I don't think she's going to, I don't think she's going to botch. I, you know, I, no. I, I really like that word anyway, but. Um, she seems, no, no. What, you know, very solid in, in the videos that I've seen her in, um, of course, working with Natty Neidhart, how can you not be? Um, but um, I definitely think, you know, I, I definitely think that this is going to go to um, Bianca, uh, Naomi, and, and Jade. And, and I think it could really make a star out of Jade if they do it correctly. Yeah, and I, I'm gonna I'm gonna agree with that. I think the Dakota Kai should eat the pen. I think she should eat the pen most definitely. I think she should come in there, she'll give it a jaded, and and then she'll pin her right in the middle of the ring, and she'll have her WrestleMania debut moment. The other two could just stay down, and you know they've been in WrestleMania before. There's no reason for them to hog the spotlight from Jade, and I think that she should have her rest. Okay, so that's three people. That that should have a WrestleMania moment. That's three people. I mean, I, I really do think, though. I mean, I would love to see Naomi do something with her coming back and everything. And, yeah, right. Yeah. You know, but uh, but yeah, I definitely think that this is going to be an absolute star-making moment for Jade. Uh, and yes, uh, awesomeness sports and Walt. Hi, thank you for. Uh, Hi, Walter. Uh, yeah, Wesley. Hello, Walter. How are you, Fred? Thank you so much for your comments. And awesome sports. What's up? How are you? Thank you so much for your comment. Um, so, 
Um, yeah, so we're across the board here, ladies and gentlemen. Team Cargill will win here at WrestleMania. All right. All right. Now, now, Cherry, let's talk about this next one. The Intercontinental Championship is up for grabs. It is Gunta. Gunta will defend against Sami Zayn. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this match is very compelling. It's you know that you know what this you know what this you know what this match reminds me of? It's called the little engine that could. You know, you work, just when you think that everybody is not behind that little locomotive and they can't seem to think that they can't get on the same track and they can't seem to go anywhere and they can't seem to fly anywhere, this little engine keep coming back for more and more and more and more and more. And he says, I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. Now, the question is, can this little engine get its WrestleMania moment? Now, last night, ladies and gentlemen, on Raw, we saw a little glimpse of what's to come in this match. Sami Zayn is the little engine that could, and Gunta is the brick wall. Who's going to get first? What collision is going to happen? Is the train going to run against the brick wall and crash and burn? Or will the little engine break down that wall? Like um, the, the, the late Ronald Reagan said to Gorbachev, Gorbachev, tear down this wall. <laughs> so now, Cherry, I go to you. <laughs> Who is going to win the WWE Intercontinental Championship? Uh, well, first of all, funny story. Uh, the Berlin Wall actually came down on my 16th birthday. So, there you go. Um, <laughs> so, uh, and if you, if you want to know my age, you can do math. I'm not going to help you with that. Um, no, no, no. Um, well, so everyone wants to believe in the little engine that could. The problem is that little engine that could is going against Gunther. Yeah, and I don't see why he doesn't continue being dominant. I, it's just, it seems it. However, I do have a caveat with that. I do think that Sam is going to give a good fight, but, and he's going to wear Gunther down. He's going, I mean, that's what Sammy does. Sammy wears the big guys down. But I think that Gunther is going to win. However, and people want to fight me on this because they think it's a what a waste. I think because people were obviously not paying attention that the seeds were sown for this a few weeks, a couple weeks ago. Everyone is so fixated on Damian Priest. You know that guy we kind of forgot about um, having, right. having the you know the the money in the bank. Uh, briefcase because he's boring as all get out. Um, right. They did sow the seeds of this. They had him in the ring with Gunther, with Dominic, and and all of them. There was they teased that they did tease this, whether people want to admit it or not. It was teased. I, given that no one cares about him with that briefcase to the point that people even have forgotten that he even still has it and that you really cannot I mean do you really see him being champion over Drew or Seth or Roman or Cody can, can, can we really honestly being honest say that he should cash in on one of the world champions absolutely not oh. and if he does he should fail um right and i'll get to that when we get to the the one the world championship matches right, right right but i what i think is he's sammy's gonna wear gunther down but he he is going gunther is going to retain out comes damian priest boom cash in he's intercontinental <laughs> Um, I. Well, that's what I think, but what I really think is going to happen, I'll get to later. 
um, with, with the world with one of the world title matches. Okay. Um. All right, ladies and gentlemen. I I'm going to have to agree. I'm going to agree with Cherry's assessment. As she, and you know something, ladies and gentlemen. This is why I talk to Cherry all the time about wrestling, because her analytics is absolutely off the off the wall. Um, it's absolutely off the wall. Um, I I I'm going to agree with what Cherry says. Bunta is going to. I mean, listen, listen. Sammy will give a fight in the match, like Cherry said. He'll give him one hell of a show. Yes, it's not going to be a one-sided affair. No, 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 no. He'll give Gunther a fight. Gunther is tough. He's tough like $2 steak, ladies and gentlemen. He, that, this man has chomped his way through every opponent that has ever come against him for that intercontinental title. And he has found a way to retain. But he retained it cleanly, ladies and gentlemen. There's a difference here. There's a difference, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, well, sometimes. I was going to say, making, uh, uh, making Drew hit his nuggets is not exactly clean. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> not, never mind. No, that, that, that's a little asterisk. Just, just a little asterisk on that. Well, the, 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 the of the time, yes. About yeah, right, 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 right. Eighty-five percent of the time, it's just for that one little blip, blip, blip on on the radar. I'm going to use the restroom. I'll be right back. You, okay, you, okay, sure. No, no problem. Um, um, um. So uh, anyway, ladies and gentlemen. Anyway, Sammy's going to give going to give Gunther a fight. Okay, but in the end, I'm going to I'm going to believe. In my heart of hearts, in my in my heart of hearts, that Gunther uh, we, 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 Gunther's gonna retain. Gunther is going to retain the Intercontinental Championship, and I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to go on the same page as as Cherry brilliantly did a while ago. Ladies and gentlemen, I I mean. I would like to see a new champion. I would like to see Sami Zayn get, but it's just it's just too much Gunther. It's just too much Gunther, ladies and gentlemen, for, for Sami to deal with. I mean, the the training vignette with him and Chad Gable, um, the the the, the training with him and Chad Gable was absolutely great. I saw that last night on Raw. I thought that was brilliantly done. But in the end, it's just gonna be too much Gunther. It's gonna be way too much going to film that. It's just way too much. Mm. It's just gonna be just too much. It is a, it's it's a laundry list, ladies and gentlemen, that I can go through. Why? Why, ladies and gentlemen? All right. Okay, Jerry. Ray Mysterio and Dragon Lee take on Don Mysterio and Escobar and Santos Escobar. Now the match, the match is going to be all right, but here's the thing that I don't understand. Everybody is so disappointed that Rey Mysterio decided to pick Dragon Lee because there are fans that are sitting there and saying, "Why couldn't you have picked the um? Why couldn't you have picked the uh? What what's his name? Bad Bunny? No, he no. They they wanted him to pick Bad Bunny." Why couldn't you have picked Bad Bunny for the match? Now, here's the thing, ladies and gentlemen. How do you? How do we not know that this man have a, a? You know, this man has a schedule. You know, maybe they couldn't get him. To, uh, couldn't get him to get into WrestleMania. They, I mean, the he's man's kind of multi, He's kind of a multi-million dollar artist. Yeah, right, exactly, exactly. The guy tours all over the place, ladies and gentlemen. So, inserted is Dragon Lee. <laughs> Okay. Now, why did this match have to happen? Why? Well, Santos Escobar took out Ray Mysterio. That's A. He he made Ray um, force Ray to have knee surgery. Okay. He comes back and he's taking on him in, in an episode of SmackDown. Then all of a sudden, Don Mysterio sticks his nose in the business and messed up his father's match. Hence, EI, the match. That's going to happen here at WrestleMania. But let me, Terry, let me ask you a question. 
-hmm. And let me ask you a very important question. Is this match WrestleMania worthy? Um, I think it would be if it was faction versus faction and not just a tag match. Uh, have, okay. have, you, know, you can have Dom team with Legato Del or Legato Del Fantasma. You know, all all of them get in it, uh, and then you have the LWO, and you in, instead of putting Dragon Lee in there. Now, I like the idea of Dragon Lee getting. However. Did it pee, anyone get a peek at Carlito's face when they announced that? Yeah, I know. He was not happy. And mm -mm. that's why people keep turning on Rey Mysterio Jr. Because, let's see, he had his son. He picked Edge over his own son. He had, you know, let's see. Um, he kind of replaced his own son with Santos Escobar. And then he replaced Santos Escobar with Carlito. And now he's replacing Carlito with Dragon Lee. Um, I think that Carlito is going to be pissed and he is going to turn against Ray. And, Ooh. and that Dominic is going to, uh, and, and you could get Andrade involved in this because, you know, he's kind of had this thing kind of going on with, uh, with uh, Judgment Day, and he's been kind of hanging out with Dominic, mm -hmm. um, you know, or you know, or he could surprise surprise us and try to neutralize Carlito when he turns. But I really do think that Carlito's, based on that face, I think that Carlito's going to turn on Ray, and it's going to set up um, Santos and um, and Dominic to win. I'm going to, I'm going to, I, I can't argue with that. I can't argue with that. That's some great booking by you. Great logic. Yeah. Uh, Fred, Fred, Fred asked a question. Do either of you see face or heel turns? Well, I just gave one right there. Um, Rollins, The Rock, Gable, and Priest. I'm actually going, I'm actually going to kind of withhold that, the, the one that's right up above it. I want to. Oh, okay. Okay. Hold on. Let me find it. it um, um, is it, uh, oh, that, that one? Right there. I'm actually going to withhold and I'm going to talk about those uh, in regards to each match because I do have a couple of hill and hill turns and possible face turns. Yeah. 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 We, we're going to. But Fred Bot, thank you so much for your time. Yeah. And energy. Thank you so much for that. But I, uh, with this match, I think it was dumb as hell to not have a faction versus faction match. Let yeah. everyone in the match, let there be all kinds of shenanigans instead of, you know, cherry picking who's going to actually be in the match. Let, right. let Joaquin and Del Toro in, in this match. Let, you know, let um, let uh, Garza and, and Humberto in it. You know, just just let it go, man. Let, 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 let it be faction versus faction. Hi, Jessica. How are you? Hi, Jessica McDonald. How are you? Thank you so much. Hit that like button, Jessica. And please subscribe to our channel. Subscribe to the Hardcore Spun. Subscribe to my channel. And follow Cherry on Twitter. She's absolutely great at what she does, ladies and gentlemen. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I, I post Drew McIntyre. Uh, content. Yeah, well. but, but but just make sure that you have the correct change when you get on her Twitter. I'll try to make it snap, tap, or nap. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen. Anyway, anyway, but, but, but yeah, I, I, think, I think that they missed a, a complete opportunity to, to give a couple of up-and-comers a match and let it have, right. let it be faction versus faction, but I, I definitely think that Car after facing, seeing Carlito's face, he, he he's going to be like, oh, okay. He's going to get pissed and he's going to turn on Ray and Dominic and, and Santos. Lynn. Yeah. Um, I, I, yeah, I, I think team Santos is going to go over in this match. Yeah. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to lean towards that direction. So me and Terry so far lately have been on the, on the, on the page. Yep. On the same page. Okay. That, that's that's good stuff. Jimmy Uso. Jimmy Uso will take on his brother, Jimmy. This absolutely is one of the most each well, I don't I don't what is the word I'm looking for? Um just this match 
uh, I'm looking for a word and I, I don't dare really find one in my vocabulary brain right now. But this match is very interesting. In, yeah, it's interesting and, and quite unique. Mm -hmm. Um I did there there's a word I'm looking for, unique. Um at first when I when they were when they were planting the seeds for this, I was like, I don't think anybody in their mom would want to see these two brothers go out. But then as it time goes on, ladies and gentlemen, as time went on and you see them keep doing these one upsmanship with each other with it interference. Uh, I said, okay, now I can see what they're doing here. Now I can see what they're doing, and it's on a collision course. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this, this match is going to be happening. Yep. This match is going to blow the roof. Well, well, there is no roof on the Lincoln Financial Field. But I'm sure the audience at night number one will enjoy this little ditty. Please come and, and enjoy the ditty that they will because brother versus brother. But now, here's the question that I have. Here's a question. Could we see, could we see these two go out and in the ring? And then later on in the night, in that tag match, reunite the Usos and help the Rock and Roman get the bloodline rules match across the finish line that is something that is something that i'm kind of want to know and inquiring minds want to know because it could it could happen it could happen like just like that huh. cherry what do you think yeah, you just kind of proposed something that I didn't think about. But as far as the match itself, right? I don't think it's going to be the best brother on brother match in WrestleMania history. I don't think anyone's talking no. about it. No, no, uh, no, no. But it's going to be a very good match. They right. suit each other obviously incredibly well. And I think it's the Josie. Josie, I'm talking. Um, I think that who needs to win it the most is probably Jimmy because Jay is already super over. Um, and, but I think maybe that Jay, I had been saying Jimmy, but I think maybe Jay might win it. Now, you presented this thing about um, him, them helping, you know, reuniting and helping um, um, Rock and Roman. This is not what I want to happen. But what if they reunite and help Cody and Seth instead? Well, that's a no well. It really, honestly, depends on. Well, but well, I, I, I can't see. I can't see Jay turning heel again because Jay is incredibly popular. Right. But now Jimmy turn the face if that happens. It, unless, mm -hmm. it, you know, I mean, and they couldn't, maybe they don't reunite at all. Um, but I definitely think that, I mean, and, and I'm not going to get too far ahead of myself because I'm going to talk about what's going to happen and what I think is going to happen in the tag match. Um I, 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 you know, and, and Fred just brought up a good point. If he had, if Jay hadn't gotten so popular, you could definitely see them reuniting with the bloodline and costing um, uh, Cody and Rollins. Um, but I think I, like I said, I would, I, my earliest predictions was that it was going to be Jimmy winning it because I think he needs it more. But I think, I, if you're really wanting to, if they're really kind of hinging, you know, Jay becoming a really big star, I think Jay's going to have to win it. So uh, I think Jay's going to win. Yeah, I'm. I'm going to. I'm going to agree with your assessment. And Fred Box, thank you so much for your, for your comment. Yes, greatly appreciate it. Um, uh, I again, like I said before, I'll say it again. Um, ladies and gentlemen. 
Um, I'm, I'm going to agree with what Jerry is saying here. But, the, I mean, anything is possible. He could turn, they could turn him back heel, and he could help Roman if Hardy get that bloodline boost on the finish line, ladies and gentlemen. They, because I'll tell you this much, the Rock and Roman, ladies and gentlemen, they're not, put, they're not messing around with nobody. They want to win this match at any means necessary. And when I mean anything means necessary, I mean anything necessary. They're going to be the times. They're going to be up the times, Jerry. That's right, Jerry. They're going to be up the times. So, all right. So let's talk about this deck last time. For the undisputed, for the undisputed tag team championship, it is Judgment Day versus DIY versus New Day versus Awesome Truth versus A Town versus the New New Catch Republic in a six pack challenge. This ladder match, okay, here's the rules for this ladder match. Now, they explained to us last night. That when one team goes up, let's say, for example, DIY is on the ladder and they pull down the raw tag team titles. The match still continues because we don't have a new this we don't have a new champion yet. DIY must bring down all the tag team belts. They must bring them down in order to become the undisputed champ. So if they unhook the Raw titles, they're still not champions. They need to take down the SmackDown titles. So the SmackDown titles, if they're swinging in the chandelier, we don't have a winner. You got to bring all the titles down, ladies and gentlemen, from Raw and SmackDown to become the undisputed tag team champions. Oh, boy. Now, there is some speculation, ladies and gentlemen, in this match that um, I, I, I believe Austin Theory and, and, and um, Grayson Waller was going to be removed from this match. I, uh, um, is there, there is a rumor that they will be removed and a new team will be inserted. Who is that? Well, ladies and gentlemen, drum roll, please. It will be the Hardys. Yeah, I mean, uh, and there is a rumor that the Hardys have already signed right back to the WWE. And if that is the case, if that is the case, ladies and gentlemen, then we're in for a WrestleMania, another WrestleMania surprise. Because the Hardys have done this before in a ladder match. And the New Day introduced them into this ladder match. So now, here's something that's going to be really intriguing and really surprising. Don't be surprised, ladies and gentlemen, if the ring announcer does not announce Grayson Waller and Mr. A Town Down in the match. So, Terry, I'm going to go to you. Who is going to win the undisputed, the undisputed? Tag team champions. Well, first of all, they are so splitting those tag titles. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You have answered my my. my. <laughs> That's what's going to happen. Those tag teams are those titles are going to be split because they have got a wealth of tag teams on both on both shows. So I don't think one is just just one's going to win it. So what I think. Is going to happen. See, I don't know necessarily know that the Hardys are going to are going to replace anyone. Right. Well, I mean, I really wish it had been pretty deadly in there instead of Waller and Theory, but it is what it is. Um, given that we don't know for sure that the Hardys right. are going to be in this, right, 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 right. With that, I can't see them winning again. I, no. Not this time. I, I think no. now if they come back to a surprise pop, fantastic, wonderful. Of course, right. And what and what I think is going to happen, it 
the Hardys don't even factor into it all, and neither does Waller in, in, in theory, unless there's like some sort of split up between the two of them. So, no. I think we're going to be splitting those titles. I think I think one team's going to be getting Raw, and one team's going to get be getting SmackDown. I think that for SmackDown, it's going to be the new Catch Republic, Pete Dunn and um, mm-hmm. and um, and Big Strong Boy. Oh my God, why why is his name oh, oh, escaping oh, me? Tyler Bate. Tyler Bate. Yeah, I love Tyler Bate. Um, and I think for SmackDown, I mean for Raw. I think it's going to be DIY. Yeah, I, I, I could see it being awesome truth. Oh, jeez, no! Oh, God. I, I love you, Earl. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> that, no, I mean, but I would love to see our truth get the title. That's not the point for so. Cool. Uh, and and I and I agree with Fred. I think Imperium should have been in there. I think Imperium um, and Kaiser should have been in that match too. Honestly, yeah, yeah, yeah. If in that match, uh, I would have picked them for Raw if I'm being perfectly honest. But yeah, I think, I think it's going to be DIY for Raw and um, and New Catch Republic for SmackDown. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to agree. I'm going to agree with that assessment. Um, I think the new Catch Republic will become the, the SmackDown Tag Team Champions. But remember, like I said before, like the, if the ti- if the Raw titles are still standing up there, somebody needs to pull them down, and they that's the only way this match is going to end. You have to pull down all the titles, and you will be the undisputed. So I'm going to say in this ladder match, like then the new Catch Republic are your new undisputed. They're going to be the undisputed tag team champions, ladies and gentlemen, as they will defeat Mr. Priest and Mr. Balor in the match. I don't really see them retaining that title. I don't uh, see them re- and, and that's going to kind of lead into another match that, that I'm going to talk about later. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, is going to factor into what I'm going to say, so I will wait for that. Right. Exactly. Um, and that, ladies and gentlemen, will start the ball rolling for the dissolvement of Mr. Priest's relationship with the Judgment Day. But we're going to talk about that, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to talk about that in just a nanosecond. But Fred Buck, thank you so much for your your comments. Um. All right. All right, Cherry. The women's title is up for grabs. It is Rhea Ripley taking on Becky Lynch. This was, I'm going to tell you this much, ladies and gentlemen. Getting back to Raw last night, ladies and gentlemen, what you all didn't see on camera, ladies and gentlemen, when the cameras were off, Rhea Ripley, Rhea Ripley went backstage and she went apoplectic. She went apoplectic on management. Like Rhea Ripley wanted to smack management around, ladies and gentlemen. She wanted to beat the smart on her. And oh, she wanted she wanted to do that so bad, ladies and gentlemen. And she and Becky Lynch had a brawl on the floor, ladies and gentlemen. All I could think of was Joey Styles and that cat type phrase. Ladies and gentlemen, it was absolutely, absolutely wild. Last night in Brooklyn. What a what a mess. So I'm gonna go to uh, Jerry. Let me ask you a question. Mm-hmm. Um, what did you think of the build for this title match, and who is winning the women's title? I think the build has been has been is one that has been a little uh, up until about. Once again, up until a couple of weeks ago, and especially this week, where you had Rhea on that show, um, uh, I can't, I can't remember the guy's name. And Becky came in and 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 confronted her, and then the stuff that happened last uh, last night. But I don't feel the heat that I think this this particular match should have, and I think it's mm-hmm. because I had. You know Becky feuding with and both both of them feuding with Nia and and the whole thing where where the I don't know where what the crap where the crap lived just kind of disappeared too. I mean it's just it's, right. It's just kind of weird how how this has all happened. And I think that both of them concentrating on um, 
on on Naya kind of hurt uh, the build to this. Um, right. But that said, I think Rhea is going to retain. Ooh, okay. I, I didn't say that's what I wanted, but uh, Josie wants it because she loves Rhea. I love Rhea. But I think that they're going to try to make her a dominant champion. And once again, that's going to tie into another match later and another thing that we just talked about with Judgment Day. Right. She's she she's going to stay a champion and she's going to be incredibly ticked off that Priest and Balor lost that lost those titles. And I think that Priest is going to be the one Priest is going to somehow screw up and he's going to be the one to cause them to lose or or cause the other two teams I said to win. Right. Um, uh oh. But I, 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 think, I think that they're trying to set Rhea up with a very dominant reign. Uh, and how, you know, how much more dominant can you be than to beat the most popular women's wrestler on that roster in, in quite a long time? But don't you think her, let me ask you something, Jerry. Don't you think that Rhea's title reign has been abysmal? I, I didn't say it wasn't, I didn't say it was great. I just right. said her up to be dominant. And, right. Um, but don't you think don't you think this is a time for change? I whether I think it's time for change or not is irrelevant. What I think is gonna happen is I, I think I think Rhea's gonna win it. I do. Okay. All right. That doesn't mean that's what I want. But I, I think I can I can see I can see them having her continue her reign um at least right. until, at least until SummerSlam. right well SummerSlam. i'm gonna go i, I I'm, I'm gonna go in the opposite direction here i'm gonna go in the opposite direction i'm gonna say becky lynch has her moment in wrestlemania and we're gonna have a brand new women's title <laughs> she's had her moment. <laughs> She, she I, know. I know, I know, I know. But but look, 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 look. Listen, listen. She just came out with a with a with a book. Um, she like when he went up against Lashley and they didn't let him win. That don't that doesn't. You know, no, no, I, 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 I know. Okay. All right. Uh, <laughs> I, I know what I, I know what I'm be. I know what I'm like. like <laughs> no, I just, I, I just, I don't see. I just don't see them. Allowing Rhea to right. reign until SummerSlam or possibly Clash at the Castle. That could be when she loses it, you know. Which, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, speaking of Clash of the Castle, that will happen again, ladies and gentlemen, June 15th in Glasgow, Scotland. Ladies and gentlemen, on Saturday night, the 15th of June, the Clash of the Castle number two is on the, is on the horizon. Um, uh, I know. So, all right. So, me and Cherry are a little split here. A little split. Um, Cherry want, says that Rhea will retain. I, in, in my heart of hearts, I would like to see a new champion. I really would. But I, I, I think I'm going to have to go with the formula that Cher that Cherry is saying, and 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 her, her formula. It does work, um, and and it and it is fit the narrative, like like she said. You know, Drew one wrote a book, and and he did he didn't get a he didn't get his moment in the sun, and I don't think I don't think it's gonna happen with uh with Becky Lynch. She's gonna give her a good fight, it, it, and it's gonna be a hard fought retainment. I'm not saying the match is gonna be oh, one it's gonna, that, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a great match. I think it it's gonna be it's gonna be a good match. It, it could potentially steal that first night, if I'm being perfect. Right. Um, but, um, but also, the I mean, my reasoning behind Rhea retaining is pertaining to everything that's going to be happening with Judgment Day. So, but we'll right. get there. We'll, we'll finish getting there when it's time to get there. Right. Exactly. Uh, all right. We are up to the main event of night number one. Ladies and gentlemen, and the, the main event of night number one, ladies and gentlemen, will close this WrestleMania. 
Thanks, <laughs> Shelvin. It is the tag team match that everybody and their mom is talking about. Thanks, Shelvin, on the internet. It's on everyone's lips. It is Seth Rollins taking on with his partner Cody Rhodes taking on The Rock and Roman. This is the most compelling tag team main event matches I have seen in WrestleMania lore history, ladies and gentlemen, and it gets none bigger than this. Everything is on the line in this tag team match. Now, here's some here's some formulas. Here's some here's some critical formulas that are in this match. First of all, we can get we can get a swerve and have um rock turn on Roman. We can have Rollins turn on Cody. We can have the Usos reunite and help Roman and and and, and the Rock. Then we have then we have the bloodline rules. And we all know, ladies and gentlemen, we all know we have been subject to the same old, tired, whack finish booking that we've been spoon fed for the last almost three years, but it's something that Roman Reigns has been champion. Roman Reigns has not been a clean champion in a long time, in a very long time. And he hasn't won, he has been winning his bounces on the nefarious means. And this match is absolutely going to have compelling things in it because you don't know what's going to happen in this tag match. What we don't know what we're going to get in this tag match. What are we, are we going to get a screwman? Are we going to get a, a, are we going to get a bloodline rules? We don't know what we're going to get. This is so unpredictable. This is so. This is so. One of those those tag matches that you just want to sit there with a with a with a tub of popcorn and just keep just going on the edge of the seat because you have no idea what you're gonna get. You, it's so intriguing that you don't know what you're gonna get. What you see is what you get when you buy Coronet. Ladies and gentlemen, and I don't know what we're going to get. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I have no idea what we're going to get. Um, um, Jerry, let me ask you, what, what are we getting in this tag match and who's winning it? All right. Well, well what we've been getting in that in the build has been The Rock just coming in and showing them how it's done. And, I mean, I, I love the old Hollywood Rock Hill persona back in the day. This is this is surpassing it like by like a light year. I mean, it's just it's so good. He has been so good in this Uber heel role, uh, and he's actually made me kind of care about this match. And and I have and I and I have zero interest. I, I still don't think it should main event, but here we freaking are because you know I, I don't want to see that blonde one and and two main events for God's sake. <laughs> Uh, but so what I think is going to happen is I don't think anyone turns in this. I think that, well, I mean, at first, I mean, last night kind of threw me off a little bit because they actually showed what, um, what bloodline rules is. And the whole thing is hinging on whether or not Cody goes into that match with, um, the bloodline at being out of the match or if it's going to be bloodline rules. The fact that they showed us what bloodline rules is kind of may, maybe throws a little bit of a monkey wrench on what I think, but I think I'm going to stick with this. I think that I think that Rock and Roman are going to win. No. And Seth Rollins is going to be the one that gets pinned. And that's hmm. going to lead me into what I think about what happens on night two and I will get to that later. But yeah, I think I, I think it's gonna wind up in bloodline rules. Um and and I think that rock and Roman are gonna now do I think that there's gonna be interference and shenanigans? Absolutely. We and we don't mm -hmm. know where it's coming from. We don't know if it's gonna be coming it could come from Jimmy. It could come from Solo. It could come from both. It could come from Drew. Because yeah. 
remember the week before there was a you know a little conference in the back about you know between right. Drew and Paul Hammond. But then again, that could have just been like, hey, can take care of him for tonight, which he did. And in all fairness, right. to it Seth Rollins had sucker had sucker shot at him earlier, so he was getting his receipt for that. So, you know, that could be explained away. But I I, I think that by hook or by crook, Rock and Roman are winning this match, and Seth Rollins is going to be the one that gets pinned. Yeah, um, uh, you know what? I, because you know, you, you you know, I'm glad that you said that, Jerry. Because um, Sarah said this on the on the Raw Watch Along um, last week. Um, they're not going to make Roman lose two nights in a row. No. Yeah, no. Um, Roman is not losing two nights in a row. No, that's not going to happen. And I'm going to agree with what Sherry says here. The Rock and Roman are going to win the tag team match. There will be bloodline rules, ladies and gentlemen, and they are going to win this match with nefarious means, ladies and gentlemen, unfortunately. Unfortunately. Um, the Rock is going to be beaming from ear to ear knowing that he put down Cody Rhodes and Seth Rollins at, at the night number one, which means at night number two, we're going to have shenanigans in, in, the, in the main event, which is unfortunate. But that's the way it's designed. That's the way it's been designed. Um, but... Um, this is this is gonna be great TV. This is gonna be great pay-per-view watching, ladies and gentlemen. I cannot wait for night number one, and I'm so glad that I'm gonna be part of this historic night. I cannot wait. I am just chomping at the bit. I can't wait to get to Philadelphia. Ladies and gentlemen. The the fever pit, and I'll tell you this much, ladies and gentlemen. Last night was absolutely fantastic. We're going to talk about last night in just a moment, ladies and gentlemen. But that's, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That is it for night number one. That is it for night number one. You know, so so now, so now, ladies and gentlemen, me and Sherry, we're going to be talking about night number two. Let me ask you something, Sherry. Let me, before we get to night number two. Let me ask you something. Which night? Now listen, let me, listen to me carefully, Jerry. Which night do you think has the most compelling? Night number one or night number two? Compelling. I mean, well, as far as like the better looking matches on paper, it yes. would be night number one because you got that stink burger street fight. One, well, I'm sure we're getting ready to get into. Yes. Um, yes. um that's going to be the piss break. <laughs> well, it, no, not number two. Um, however, it doesn't necessarily mean anything. Remember, everyone said the night one was number be number, number one last year was better. However, right. however, who had what was the match of the year? What was the best match of the entire weekend? It was it was that IC triple threat, and it was on night. Right. So there's going to be a balance out of this, and and when we get to that street fight, I'll 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 I'll, I'll, I'll say my piece about that. But um, on paper, as far as like the matches itself, uh, night number one looks like it's going to be the better night. But like I said, that doesn't necessarily mean anything. Right. Okay. Well, most forward to is night two for obvious reasons. <laughs> right. All right. So let's let's just get to the let's just get through night number one here. Oh, let's just get this out the way right now. <laughs> let's get this match out of the way. Please. <laughs> the final testament, ladies and gentlemen. True value and the authors of paid. Thanks, gentlemen. Bobby Lashley takes on Bobby Lashley, the street prophets in a Philadelphia street fight. Um, this this match 
This match is not WrestleMania worthy. I, I, I'm sorry, but Dude, it's I, not I, SmackDown I'm, worthy. Uh, no, no, it, it, this this match is this match is no bueno. This match is no bueno. You know when they so, when they put that on the screen last night, I'm gonna tell you this much, ladies and gentlemen. The crowd in 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 the Barkley Center. I, I looked at the woman next to me, and she was like, "Are you 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 joking, right?" And I said, "No, no." I said, you, you, I said, you know, I said, you know what you need to do? I told the woman, I said, you know what you need to do? Phone, you know, get your phone out and G bell a recipe to your friend because this match is boring. Anyway, <laughs> um, this, this match is just no bueno for me. Wait, so, but I, I, I have no, I have zero interest. In this match, nor do I have, nor the build has been has been zero. Like so, but this match is this match is. <laughs> this is gonna be the only clunker of night number two. This is the only clunker. Is this match? I have zero interest in this match whatsoever. Philadelphia Street Fight, good. Throw the rules off the window, let them fight all the way in the women's room and the ladies in the men's room and the, all over the place. I don't care what you do with this match. It's uh, but Smash belongs in the carry across is boring as hell. And that is why we call him true value. It's uh, but you you just I'd rather watch paint dry on the wall than to watch Carrie. He's boring. I'm dying. Oh my god. Just so you oh know. my God! I don't know who's worse, him and Om oh, oh, him and Omar. I don't know who's worse. Oh, he is. Um, um, did, uh, Cherry, who's gonna win this match? Please help me. First of all, the Andre the Giant Battle Royal and the the supposed. Pizza eating contest between Omos and and uh, and Otis should be on the card before this freaking match. I'm being dead serious. What Triple H is so desperate to have his boy in the company. He sees something in this guy. I. I really wish he would could just come out and say what it is because I, I've never seen it. I didn't see it when he was in TNA. I didn't see it when he was in Lucha Underground. I didn't even see it when everyone was going on about him in NXT. He is slow. He is boring. He gets zero reactions. The authors of pain are almost as boring to me. I mean, you've got you've got a guy like Paul Ellering who is who was always fire on the mic, standing there with his fist in the air. That's all that a, a mouthpiece like Paul Ellering is doing. What or what? Why why is this even a thing? Why is this happening? That it is and, and, uh, watching Karen Cross in the ring is like watching someone wrestle in molasses. It is it, so <laughs> Slow. He is so slow and sluggish. He is the one Drew feud that I wish could be erased from history. Right. Someone as good as Drew could make him look good. And he has been had he's been had to be carried in every single match. Every single one. Go back to NXT. He had to be carried by all of those people that he supposedly dominated. He and I'm sorry, that man should not be beating Drew McIntyre, Finn Balor, Johnny Gargano, Tommaso Ciampa, anyone that they made lose to him. Adam Cole, no one should have been made to lose to him because he is awful. He just is. And I, I'm not a big, I'm not a big author's of pain thing. I am saying that the Street Profits and Bobby Lashley deserve better than what they've been given over the past couple of months having to deal with this crap. And they better win this. They they better win this. That uh, uh, I'm like I said. I, when you would rather watch Omos and Otis in a pizza eating contest on the main <laughs> or the Andre? Well, I, I think Andre the Giant 
battle royal should be on the main card anyway, as a even if whether it's a filler or not. But I would rather watch a, eat, a pizza eating contest than than this shit. And that's exactly what it is. It 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 it, 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 it it's more some true value. It's like he, he's like he's like the wish.com version of the Undertaker. <laughs> Actually, no, I take that back. That's Damien Priest. Karen Cross is the wish.com Clarence section version. <laughs> you want to talk? He, he's supposed to be scary. Josie's dance bills are scarier than Karen Cross. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, um, uh, it's, just, it's just ridiculous. What is it? happening? Why, and what did Bobby and the <laughs> Prophets do to deserve this? What, what did we do that? What did we what do, we do that deserve this? Why is this live at WrestleMania? Oh, it should be on one of the B shows, and it shouldn't even be on television. God. And this match, ladies and gentlemen, should be a pre-show match. This should not be on a main show. This really should not be on a main show. I'm sorry. Yes, Clarence section. <laughs> yes, Fred. The Clarence section. Yes, <laughs> yes. Okay. yes Clarence, we Fred. I, I, I don't understand this. I don't understand why Triple H keep. I feel like Regina George right now. Stop trying to make Karrion Cross happen. He's never going to happen. <laughs> he, he's not. Fred, thank you so much. I, I mean, and and yeah, he's got me blocked on Twitter because he's sensitive as hell and and was vanity searching because I never ever ever like tweeted at him. And being in saying what I wanted to say about him, but he vanity searched and saw that I said something bad about him and he blocked me. But I will say that both he and Scarlett were very nice to my kid, and I admit that. But that doesn't mean I want to watch him in the ring at any point in any capacity. It, oh God, please just make this match go away it, and, and, <laughs> and give the Bobby and the Street Profits something worthy of them. God, yeah, they better win. Yeah, this. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to say Team Bobby Lashley all the way. I, 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 I don't want to see this again. Uh, I'm, I'm, I don't want to see this again. No, I, uh, I don't want to. First place, but here we are. <laughs> no, 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 no. This is going to be. This is what we call, ladies and gentlemen. Let's make a deal, booby prize. Ladies and gentlemen, this is something you do not want behind curtain number three. You really don't. You really don't. It, it, it is like spoiled uh, milk mixed with motor oil. You don't want it. Let's jump it. You just don't. It, it's it, going it to smell like boiled cabbage and feet. <laughs> <laughs> we are King Prophet all the way. <laughs> I think so, yes. <laughs> all right, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, all right. Um, LA Knight. LA Knight is going to take on AJ Styles. <laughs> now, here's the thing, ladies and gentlemen. Here's the thing with the match. The match lacks heat. It really does. And they should have um they should have ramped up the level if they wanted this match to be with a crescendo mix to it. I, I'm sorry, Denise. I, I just, just so I, I, I'm just, I, yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, later. Oh. <laughs> um, I'm sorry, but this match has no heat to it for me. Um, I, this has no, no, no wow factor to me for it. However, ladies and gentlemen, however, the match is going to be, the match is going to be good. L.A. Knight and A.J. Styles have been going at it ever since the Elimination Chamber. And, okay, you wanted these two in the recipe of WrestleMania cookbook? Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to save my predictions right now for now, and then I'm going to go to Cherry. Cherry, who's going to win the match? Well, see, I have the exact opposite point of view. I think I, as far I don't know about heat, but it's been entertaining. Because I, I, I mean, uh, AJ Styles flying halfway across the world 
to to cost L.A. Knight the elimination chamber. That's a that's that's some solid hate there. I mean, he's not Drew level hating, but he's he's getting there. I I, I applaud that effort. Um, and L.A. Knight going and in invading his home, and you know I, I'm you know that was. I thought that was pretty good actually getting the actual Gainesville, Georgia police department involved in it and have a body cam and everything. I thought that that was pretty cool. Um, it, but everyone thinks the LA Knight should win because he's the younger talent. He's only two years younger than, than AJ Styles. So right. I, you got to take that out. Um L.A. Knight probably needs it more to kind of continue this momentum, but I don't think even if he loses, he's going to lose that fan base. I think that they're still going to continue to to cheer him. Right. But I really think with A.J. Hilton, look what they've done with Shinsuke Nakamura. They've continued right. to have news after a great hill turn and some great character work. I don't think they can afford to do that to A.J. too. Um, because they looked like they were going to do that to Drew, but Drew literally forced himself onto people's televisions and 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 forced that character. Right. And, and I think AJ Styles is trying to do everything he can to do that. And if you're really wanting to make AJ an effective heel, I think you've got to have him win that match. I, I, I think I think AJ's got to win this match. Yeah, I'm. I'm going to. I'm, I'm going to agree with your assessment. The the only the only reason why I said that this match didn't lack heat is that they didn't build on that momentum after he flew across the country to interfere in the elimination chamber. He did. They didn't build on that after that, and that's the only reason why there was a donut hole that was missing in that part of the storyline. And they did. They had an opportunity to fill that donut hole, and they didn't. And that's the only reason why I said that this did not lack the heat. But other than that, other than that, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna agree with um, what Jerry said. And AJ is going to win the match. AJ is going to win the match overnight. And um, yeah, yeah. And I think LA Knight goes on to be the one. It kind of swollen my prediction on this other one. I think he's going to be the one who's going to go into Cleveland taking on um, uh, Logan Paul for the IC title. Yeah, we, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna talk about that now. Okay. Um, the That's United cool. States <laughs> the United States champion. Logan, I will win by any means necessarily, Paul. Taking on Randy Orton and Kevin Owens. This is a triple threat match for the United States title. Now, here's the thing that I'm kind of concerned with. And here's the thing. We got we got Kevin Owens and we got Randy Orton. Which one of these men are going to have their WrestleMania moment? Because Randy Orton just came back from a long, lengthy absence in surgery. Kevin Owens is in a dry spell. So my question is, and my question is, which person is going to pin Logan Paul to become the U United States title? That's a great question, and inquiring minds want to know. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. Is the thing though, Mr. Prime Energy Drink. He just signed a multi year deal with the WWE. And his prime his prime drinks are gonna be on his prime drinks are now attached to WWE's premier live events. So so does this mean does this mean that you you're gonna tell me is that we're not gonna get a we're not getting a new title holder? He's gonna use those brass knuckles again? And we, he's going to he's going to cheat to win as he always does. And he's going to have shenanigans in the match. Is that what we're going to get here? One of them's going to eat the pen, or are we going to get a new champion? I don't, I don't know what's going to happen here. The, the pendulum can go either like this. The pendulum could be swinging in the one direction, 
But I have a feeling Cherry knows exactly which direction we're going to go into. Uh, Cherry, with your brilliant mind and with all your infinite power in wrestling, My. please. You know, well, you know, <laughs> I have to. I have to put. I have to put where the where the acclimate goes, um, Cherry. Um, what what do you think? Okay, well, first of all, it's a triple threat. So technically, there are no rules. Right. Qualification, so he could cheat, and it's perfect. Yeah. So he can use the brass knucks. Right. What, now, what I want to happen, I want, I, I want them to completely destroy him, the two of them completely destroy Logan Paul. Throw him out of the ring. Let the two of them fight it out. And then let him come back in the ring and Randy Orton give him an RKO right on the prime bottle and Randy Orton wins. <laughs> I love because, it. <laughs> because he once had his moment at WrestleMania last year. Um he was he he won with Sammy, and that's another thing about and the thing about Sammy, they had their moment last year in the main event. They they they've had it. And but both Randy and um and and Kevin have held titles, multiple titles. They're both they're both Grand Slam champions. They so it's not that they have to win anything to prove anything. No. But if I'm thinking long term storytelling or longer term narrative, I don't want this to happen because I can't stand a little <laughs> I mean, I, I I think he's deplorable as a human being. I do. Right. But I think that I think that Logan Paul is going to wind up winning. I think KO eats the pin, and I think that that's going to carry him into SummerSlam because it's in Cleveland, and that's his hometown. But I think the LA Knight's going to wind up beating him and. Uh, at SummerSlam for the U.S. title, but that's what I—that's what I think. Um, a uh, Big Daddy uh, trips. That's a very rude comment that you made there. I don't... That's uh, that's a that's a that's a that's a uh, all right. We're, we're, I'm gonna get rid of you. I I don't like that. I I don't. I don't and like and, I, and I'm sure you look like a piece of shit. I I, I don't I don't like that. I don't like that. Well, my hair is real, fucker. Um, I don't I don't like that. I don't. I I don't I don't like that. Yeah. No, no. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna say something about that. Uh, let, let, let me tell you something. Don't don't come on my show and insult insult the people that I work with. Okay, don't don't do that shit to me. Okay, don't don't do that. I'm not gonna put up with that. All right. I've had I've had a very hard three weeks, ladies and gentlemen, with, with with crap. I'm not gonna put up with this anymore. Don't come on my show and talk trash. All right. This is an entertainment show. This is an entertainment show. And if you can't respect the people that I work with and I care for and support, then you need to get the fuck out of here. All right? And, and, and it's it's okay, Earl. He probably he he's probably missing his date with his right hand because even it doesn't want to to mess with him right now. So it's okay. How about you? Here, here's something. Not that. Um, but anyway, yeah, I think, gonna... but I think, like, go ahead, I, Terry. I'm sorry. I was just gonna say, um, uh, before, um, you know, before uh, whack off decided to be an asshole, um, he's, um, I mean, what does that even mean? Okay, all right, I don't even know what that means, but yeah, my hair is real, I'll kiss my ass. Um, but, um, I think. That I think Logan Paul is going in. Yeah, uh, you know, in my heart of hearts, I would like Orton to to have a WrestleMania moment. Mm -hmm. I, I, in, in my heart of hearts, I, I really, I really would like to see him win that title. 
I really would. But you know what, ladies and gentlemen, like Cherry said, Logan Paul, he will win by any means necessary. Any means necessary. Any nefarious means. So, like Truth, like Cherry said, the, the, the match is going to be, um, it's going to be uh, interesting, to say none the least. Um, yeah, so Logan retains. Not that I, not that I want him to, not that we want him to, but he's going to retain. All right, let's talk about this. EO Sky, EO Sky will defend the SmackDown Women's Championship against Bailey. Um, this is one of those people, ladies and gentlemen, that I talked about earlier in this stream that needs a WrestleMania moment. Um, um, I, I think she, she deserves it. Bailey deserves this WrestleMania moment. And I think she's going to defeat EL Sky and become the new women's champion. And I think it is a right booking decision. Uh, because EO Sky's championship reign has been non-existent. Cherry, let me ask you something. Who is going to win the women's championship? Oh, I, I think Bailey's winning this. Yep. I think I think she she's more than earned it. Yep. She has the you know this is this is an opportunity to right the wrongs from what was done to the two people in particular that held those two shows together during the pandemic. Um you you I mean I, I've said before that Drew and, and Bailey and Sasha were the were the MVPs. That they just they just were. And I think Bailey I think that um Bailey is going to get his uh, I think Bailey's gonna get her time and 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 I, I remember watching uh, WrestleMania 37 and seeing her getting beat up by the freaking Bellas. That pissed me off so bad. I'm like, why are you guys doing this to her? What, what why? What? Like Oh God, we got another one. Jesus. Oh. oh my God. All right. Um it, anyway, um I think that um I think Bailey's winning this. Fine and I think she's finally gonna get her WrestleMania moment. I don't know what it is. Um yeah, I I um I'm going to agree with your assessment. Mm -hmm. I'm going to agree with the assessment. Mm -hmm. um, so, Bailey is going to win the title. And we're going to have a WrestleMania moment for Mrs. Bailey. So, all right, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, this is this is this is my favorite topic. This is my favorite WrestleMania topic because I love talking to this about this gentleman to Cherry. I really do. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, but we 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 love. I love talking about him to to Cherry. I really do. The World Heavyweight Championship match. It is Seth freaking Rollins taking on Mister. Claim on the country himself, Mr. Drew McIntyre. You know, ladies and gentlemen, I have to tell you something. Last night, before we talk about this match, last night, ladies and gentlemen, Drew McIntyre cut a promo in a funeral parlor. You know what it reminded me of on the on the Undertaker and and um and and and, and the, the late great uh, Paul Vera, ladies and gentlemen. That's what it reminds me of with the with the. With the, with the cough and, and everything else, ladies and gentlemen. And, and um, 
It, it was just absolutely great. I love his promos. I, you know something? I love this new Drew. This, this, this new Drew is very dark. He's mysterious. He, 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 he wins matches by nefarious means. Um, he'll go out and he'll interfere in a match. And, 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 and he's hungry and, and, and he wants to he wants to get his point across and everything else. And I absolutely love it. I love it. I love it and I want more of it. <laughs> Thanks, Chubbin. And what's gonna happen in this match, Ray Chubbin? Very obvious and very clear. One hundred percent. Drew is going to be your new champion. He will raise that championship at WrestleMania. The pyro will go off on not only on top of the roof, but the stadium. The place is going to go apoplectic. He is going to have his WrestleMania moment because he deserves it. He deserves that moment, and he deserves that spotlight. And I am going to love each and every nuance, every Claymore, every slam, everything. And so much more because Drew is going to go down the aisle number five, played seven, and that is the pay window. And he's going to cash that sucker in. And I can't wait for that moment. So, Cherry, I know what your prediction is. I know exactly where you're going. I don't even, <laughs> we're on the same page on this mothership. So, what do you think, Cherry? <laughs> Women in this. <laughs> so, I mean, uh, you say he wins by nefarious means. I no, mean, no, but but I mean, I, let, let me just back that up. Let me just back that up before you before you chop me and dice me like a ginsu. No, I was um, not. <laughs> you know, most people would ever do that too. No, um, no, 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 no. I understand. No, I understand what you're saying. No, I understand what you're saying. What I mean by nefarious, I'm not, I'm not saying like he cheats like with a brass buckle or a chair and anything. What I mean is, is that you know he'll go out there and he'll and he'll 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 show him he'll show him exactly what kind of a heel he is and how you keep poking him and then he he show you. That's what I mean by nefarious. That is that's what I mean. He just wants to get his point across and he gets it very and he does it very well to the opponent, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm. Got job to do down there. Um, well, oh, geez. he takes it. I mean, he's finally taking advantage of opportunities. I, I don't think he's winning by nefarious. He, he's, he didn't ask the bloodline to interfere. He didn't, no. ask, he didn't ask, he didn't ask, uh, no. he didn't fly halfway across the world. He, he's taking advantage of his opportunities. Finally. Um, and everything that he says, he can back up and he can do this. Um, I just really want to see him finally get that moment and mm -hmm. in front of the crowd. Uh, I mean, I know he's, I know he's been champion. I know people bring that up to me. <laughs> okay, yeah, I get it. Um, but I think that Drew is definitely winning this. Um, I think that, but I also think that Damian Priest might play a role in this. And this is where my previous thing comes in. I think he's going to try to cash in. He may try to attack Drew. Maybe. I think he, he I think he might. Um, we'll see what, but I, jo Josie, stop. Sorry, she's like talking at the same time. Um, I think that Damien Priest might try to come in and he might. Oh, here we go. Oh, we got it. Oh, he, he, did he create another account to be an asshole? Oh. <laughs> hey, God. Oh, oh shit, gosh. She's oh, guys, come my on. God, yeah. God, yeah. What is this troll night? Oh, come oh, on now. God. Oh, so adorable. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh. Guys, please. Come on. Oh. Come on, guys. Come on. My, wo my word. Lord. Um, All right. You know, I, th I think that I do think that 
Drew, I think Drew is definitely winning, but I could see Damian Priest trying. <sighs> no, my middle finger is bit. Oh, God, guys, where are these people coming from? Come on, guys. Come on. Come on, guys. Come on. Let's not, let's not go there. Come on. Don't be rude. Don't be rude. Come on. We're trying to do this show, man. Come on. Come on, if you can't, if you can't, if you can't be, don't be ridiculous. Come on now. Come on, guys. Enough with this crap in the chat. Come on, man. Come on. Let's be respectful. This is a woman here. Let's be respectful. They don't know how. It's okay. Don't be an asshole. Come on. They don't, they don't know how. They can't help themselves. Okay. You can't show respect to the people that were, that are on here. And don't don't put anything in the chat. Oh my god! Stay in your mom's basement and go jerk off and leave us alone. Ooh. Anyway, <laughs> you sound like me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You sound like me. I like it. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry. Um. Anyway, as I was saying. As I was go, saying, go ahead, go ahead, Terry. I think that I think that um, Damian Priest probably will try to cash in because everyone's making a big deal about it. Um, but what I think he's going to wind up. Um, oh my God! Okay, Earl, I'm 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 I'm, I'm done. I'm sorry. I, I'm 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 not I'm I, I can't I'm not. I'm not putting up with this. I'm, I'm going. I, I can't. I can't. I'm, oh I'm no, I'm Sherry. I'm, I'm I'm sorry. I, I I'm sorry I'm about this. I'm done. I, I I just I can't. I cannot believe what's happening here. Well, we got to finish the show. Let, let's just let's, let's just finish the show. Let's just finish the show because this is absolutely ridiculous. I am not going to put up with this. I'm not going to put up with this. If yeah. you guys, if you guys, are, you can't be. You have to be respectful. Come on, guys. Come on, we're almost done with the show. We're almost done with the show. And it, it, it's just ridiculous. Um, so Drew is going to win the match. He's going to get his WrestleMania moment. All right. All right. All right. We went through Rhea. We went through. I, 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 I can't do this anymore. I'm, I'm done with these people. I'm, I'm done. And, and what's it going to be? Oh. What's it going to beat up Drew with? One arm? Is he gonna get him up in the in the go to sleep? He can't even get him up with two arms. Okay, yeah. Okay, fine. I, Earl, I'm going. I'm I'm done. I'm done with these. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, Cherry. I I I I I I don't want this to be like because we're almost done. Yeah, I'm we're done. almost done. I, I just can't. I'm done. I got my daughter in the room. I can't put up with this. I'm I'm done. Oh, jeez. All right. I'll, I'll, All I'll, right. I'll, I'll see you later. Take, take care, Jerry. Thank you. Oh my God. Um. All right, ladies and gentlemen. All right. <sighs> Thank you for ruining my show, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much. I have to talk to Mitch. Uh, ooh, okay. Um. All right. So. Um, Jerry had to go, ladies and gentlemen. I, I'm, I'm, I, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm angry. I'm angry about this, ladies and gentlemen. You know, the the show was going so well, and you guys, you guys are absolutely one of the most disgusting people I have ever seen in my life with your nasty comments. You know, let me let me just say something here, ladies and gentlemen. It's not fair that you sit up there and you insult somebody. It's not fair that you sit there and insult somebody that you don't even know. And you sit behind your keyboards and everything else and you type these, these whack, dumb comments. And you think you're a, a superstar or whatever. 
I want to tell you this much, ladies and gentlemen. You all are disgusting. You all are absolutely disgusting. I'm trying to put on a special show for you all, and you all turned it into a nightmare with your disgusting comments. Why can't you all be respectful of somebody? You're rude. You're absolutely rude. You all are absolutely rude. And you all are disgusting in the chat. You really are disgusting. And I cannot believe that you would turn something so nice and positive into something like this. Well, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to finish the show. We're going to finish the show. We're going to finish. I'm going to finish the show. And I believe we are up to the main event. Yep, we're up to the main event of night number two. The undisputed champion Roman Reigns will take on Hey, Fred, thank you so much for your comment. We greatly appreciate it. Um, Roman Reigns will take on Cody Rhodes. This is going to be a very compelling match because, as we said on night number one, me and Sherry, we did night number one. And um, we will have this. So my prediction for this match, ladies and gentlemen, okay, no. even though it's bloodline rules, Cody will find a way to become the new champion. Will we get it? Probably not. In my heart of hearts, I would like to see Cody get his WrestleMania moment, but we all know, ladies and gentlemen, that is that is in my fantasy land. That is not the WWE's fantasy land. If this is a bloodline rules match, Roman will retain by nefarious means, shenanigans all abound, same whack booking, and we're going to get a retainment. Cody's dreams of becoming champion could become a nightmare. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's it. That's it. Show is marred with absolutely garbage. And it was insulting. You turned something so good into something, such a nightmare with your disgusting, nasty comments. So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for the WWE portion of tonight's telecast. Um, ladies and gentlemen, tonight is the night of, of the predictions, and we are love having these predictions ladies and gentlemen and it was absolutely one of the greatest things until we got to the middle part of night number two you all are disgusting and you should be ashamed of yourself to talk about somebody that you don't know. Don't tear down somebody that you don't understand. And I'm going to say this, ladies and gentlemen, I'll say this again. You all need to grow up. Really. Ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for the WrestleMania prediction show. I want to thank Cherry for coming on. She was absolutely fabulous.
Thank you, Fred Buck, for your time and your energy. Thank you so much. Um, ladies and gentlemen, absolutely one of the most great minds in wrestling. Cherry, thank you so much for your time. You were a darling. And again, thank you so much. And again, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for joining us here tonight on the WrestleMania Prediction Show. It's been a pleasure serving you tomorrow night, ladies and gentlemen. AEW Dynamite will be my final telecast. And we will see you then. Ladies and gentlemen, until then, ladies and gentlemen, for Cherry and for all of us here at the Hardcore Sports, I'm Earl Cole, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all so much for your time and your energy. And we will see you for WrestleMania in Philadelphia this weekend. Ladies and gentlemen, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, WrestleMania weekend is upon us, and it is here. And let freedom ring. Good night, everyone, from the Hardcore Sports. Now with the hottest show in the universe, the wrestling experience, with your host, Joe Cole. Acknowledge me. Coming at you with all the dope shit, freshest WWE content, and also the AEW. You are now watching the experience. The wrestling experience. Now with your host, Joe Cole.